This is very serious. This is experimental control. When you're engaging in an experiment, you have two types of experimental control. Number one, which is often taught of as the thought of, thought of, taught, taught, this is the second one, um, is the amount of control that the researcher has over the independent variable. Can I withdraw it? Can I put it back in place? Can I withdraw it? Can I put it back in place? Right? Do I have that precision, right, over what it is I'm trying to do? I can crank up the temperature in the room and things like that. I have precise control, experimental control. Um, it also is about the outcome of an experiment and how it demonstrates a convincing relation between the independent variable and the dependent variable, right? So if your experiment is designed well, you have experimental control. Um, and if the researcher has experimental control, they'll be able to um, implement their independent variable as needed, at whatever level of it is needed, right? Uh, and then we measure those effects in the dependent variable. So experimental control, the more of it you have, more likely, more than likely then, you will be increasing your internal validity. So go ahead and see that video next. But um, it's really important uh, and it helps us rule out confounds. And this is how quality science is done with high levels of experimental control.